welcome back to my channel so today you guessed it we are trying out a diamond painting now this has been quite a bit of a trend lately and I am a little bit late to this trend but I really wanted to try it out anyways and yeah I was in my local dollar store recently and I seen an aisle with all of these different diamond paintings now if you're not sure what a diamond painting is it's basically kind of like a paint by numbers or cross stitch kind of deal except you are painting with these diamonds there's basically a little resin gemstones that you place onto a sticky surface using this sort of pattern here and it makes a sparkly picture so I wanted to give this a go and see what it's like because I've never done this before and give my sort of first impressions and that kind of thing so here is the mat that we are doing our diamond painting on and as you can see it is a lion. I picked this one because I really liked it. It's sort of like an animal lion in a bit of a watercolory style and I thought that was really cool. Now here are all of the little gemstones and the little tray and the little pen thing that you use to place them on. Now funny story actually, I recently bought one of these and when I opened it up and I, and I actually went to make a video and I discovered that it had the wrong amount of diamonds in it now this is the one with the incorrect amount of diamonds if I will have a look and show you see this packet here number 11 this is unopened and as you can see the packet is completely empty. So not my best uh, introduction to diamond painting. First impressions, to be completely honest, uh, my hopes are not high, you know? But after I discovered this, I went out and I bought the exact same uh, diamond painting again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this has all of the different colors that you actually need. And if there are any other missing ones, I'm going to pinch them from this one. So here is number 11 and as you can see in this packet there actually is diamonds. Wow, it actually came with the diamonds that it was supposed to. I am so impressed. So here we go. It looks like there are all of the diamonds accounted for. So great, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna work on this area here if you can't see it. Uh, just a small area to start with and I am going to go from left to right because I'm left-handed and if I go from right to left I'm gonna get my palm stuck on the area so yeah that should work out pretty well hopefully so since most of them are this uh, very light sort of color number 13 which is N I'm going to do most of that first because that is the most part like that's the most uh, the most of that color is on that area Now immediately I do get the impression why a lot of people like this. This is kind of fun and relaxing, but to be honest, I'm gonna wait to see uh, after a few hours if I still think so. This does make me think a lot about cross stitch though, uh, because it's basically the same thing, just a different medium. But to be completely honest, uh, this does feel like it is a lot faster than cross stitch. With cross stitch you sort of have to sort of sew out and in and then out and in to make a cross shape and that takes a lot of time when you're doing it like hundreds of times. But this you basically just pick it up, stick it down, pick it up, stick it down. So here is that little square done and I can definitely see why these are popular. That That is really satisfying to cover up all of the symbols and just have a nice color here. And yeah. I wonder how long this is going to take me. I hope it doesn't take like more than a couple days because I got videos to make. But that's okay if it does, to be completely honest. As long as it ends up quality, am I right?
So here we have all of these white or very light colored pieces done and that looks quite pretty. Look how sparkly that is. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera but it looks pretty cool and yeah I'm just going to continue now with the other colors and finish off this piece before I continue on to another piece. Now I have some leftover white ones. I'm going to try and put them back in this packet so yeah. J. There seems to be quite a bit of J, so let's get some J in there. Wow, that was actually the right amount of diamonds that I poured into there. <laughs> That's funny. So here is this whole square done and to be completely honest that was kind of fun. Um, I'm not sure what this looks like exactly, it's kind of just like a random amount of colours. I know it's supposed to be the lion's mane. I'm hoping once we get to the lion's face it will look more like something. But anyways we are going to continue this on and do more areas of the diamond painting. So tell me, have you done a diamond painting before? I've actually never done this. This is my first time ever trying it out, but it's kind of fun. I actually like it. I do know a few people that have done this. Uh, my mum has done it a couple times before, and my boyfriend's mum has done it a lot. Like, she has done so many of them, and she's like really into it. And I think that's just awesome, because when you find a hobby that you really like, uh, it's great. So let me know if you've tried that out because I really want to hear what you guys have to say and if you like it, if you've tried it, if you haven't tried it but you want to. If you haven't tried diamond painting or you haven't done it before, let me know what you guys like to do to pass the time. If it's something like sketching or drawing or cross stitch or video games. I love playing video games. Video games is probably one of the other big hobbies that I am into other than art and creativity. I know we're getting a bit off topic here but that's okay. I think that's fine. We're nearly done this section here. All I have to do is add a G, H and D and a couple K's here as well that I've missed. That's cool. I'm actually making a good amount of progress with this and as you can see once you add all of the diamonds the colors look a lot brighter than they do here mainly because all of the letters and stuff on here but the colors themselves are a bit lighter and a bit brighter than the colors depicted on this so it's interesting but you know what I'm enjoying it now I am starting off the G I actually haven't used this color yet so that's cool a little bit. That's probably plenty. Great, we have completed this whole section here. Now you can see that that is a lot brighter and lighter. Now if we zoom out a little bit, it does look like the start of a mane of a lion. Now it is a bit sort of pixel art and a bit rainbow, but I think that's what we're going for and to be honest I really like it. I think it's looking pretty good. So now I have this whole row here complete except one little line. Now I'm actually going to do something. I've been quite curious how many beads are on this whole thing. Now the packaging does not say and uh, I'm not exactly trusting of this diamond number here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count all of these along this one row and then I'm going to times it by itself because I know that it is a square piece and we're going to calculate exactly how many diamonds are in this painting. Alrighty, so let's go. One, two, three, four, eleven, Thirty-nine, forty, sixty-two, sixty-nine, <laughs> eighty-seven, eighty-eight, and eighty-nine. Okay, so there's eighty-nine gems, beads, diamonds, drills, whatever you call them, down here. So eighty-nine times 89 equals 7,921. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, this is the exciting part because now we are up to this middle section here where the lion's eyes are. It has been really fun doing the mane, however I am really, really excited to get into doing the face because I feel like that's where more of the detail is going to be. So I'm just going to cut a section in this protective plastic here just around the two eyes and it is the middle part of the face so let's get into it. I feel like I'm using this stuff quite a bit. Uh, after a while it does start to get less sticky and you can tell because you have to sort of push harder on the diamonds to get them to stick and it's kind of annoying. So time lapse scribble here. I'm actually recording this after the fact. Um, I didn't realize how long this was going to take. I did know, like, sort of guess that it would take me maybe a couple of days. However, that second day I had to sort of uh, do it for like the whole day. <laughs> um, this ended up actually taking me about nine hours, maybe a bit more to do. And I knew it was going to take quite a while. And to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of like, I guess I was right in that way because, uh, well, the cross stitch that I created a while ago took me about 30 hours and it was a lot smaller than that and this taking me 9 hours is pretty good. I did enjoy the process though. It did sort of like, I don't know, the, the repetitive process kind of let my mind wander a little bit. I was able to sort of just like chill out, daydream, lose track of time and just do this diamond painting for like hours. And it was very satisfying to see all of those colors come together to make a nice picture. Now, the picture quality isn't amazing. There, are, there aren't a lot of colors available in this set. There are a lot of colors, but for the type of illustration or, you know, picture, uh, more colors probably would have made it a bit better. And in some areas, the, the shading, I'm going to say, was a little bit suspect <laughs> but I feel like the this sort of the process that how they make these uses a bit of a machine algorithm type thing to just sort of like automatically select colors and stuff like that so it's not always going to translate perfectly however I really do like the illustration and I think it looks pretty cool I do like that I picked a lion because he just looks so awesome in all of those colors and I love the way that the mouth and the whiskers turned out I think it looks pretty cool I don't know I'm a really big fan of pixel art so uh, personally I'm gonna like it <laughs> 
if I was going to change anything, I probably would have changed a few of the colors. Uh, some parts, especially on the right side, there's pink and bits of green in there, which really would have been better if it was shaded with a bit of purple instead of green. But overall, uh, I'm not too unhappy with it. I, I do like the results and yeah. Okay, so for the most part, I believe we only have one color left. This has taken me so long, but I have enjoyed it. So all we have left to do is the white. Now we have this corner here, which is a big block, a uh, solid color of white. And then we have a few little uh, white parts speckled in here near the nose, the whiskers on the left side and a few highlights here. And I think after that we will be done. So let's just dive right into it and finish this. I'm excited. So overall, good experience. I did have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I don't know if I will make more of these on this channel. Uh, it definitely depends on how this video does. So if you want to see me make more of these, please share this video around if it does well. I might make another one. I have a, I have a cool idea that I'm not going to give away yet. So here is the final results for this and I do like it. It is really nice. It's very sparkly. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera, but it's it's very glitzy and glammy and cute. <laughs> I will have to find a frame for this somehow. I think you can frame these. I'm not sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it's very long. This was a very, very long process, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. And yeah, if you're new here, please like and subscribe to get your scribble fix in the future. My name is Sarah, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.